Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how I mapped the grid MIDI controllers with a DJ software called Tractor. Tractor is made by Native Instruments. I use the demo version which lets you play uh, for 30 minutes and you can't record the output of the software although I recorded the sound card with OBS Studio. For the Tractor mapping my initial idea was the following. You are a mobile DJ, you have a small control surface and a laptop. Use both. So I use the control surface to mix the tracks I'm playing and use the laptop to bruise tracks. This was the first time I made a tractor mapping and uh, one thing really bothered me in the beginning. If you are thinking from the point of tractor, then you have two MIDI controllers here. The control surface and your laptop or computer. If you go into preferences and controller manager, under device you can only choose one. But this doesn't mean that you can only use this one. So for example, my fader is mapped to this fader and also I have a, map, a mapping on my keyboard which is loading a track to A deck or B deck and just going up and down. And also still I can use both of these controls. On my control surface I mapped both mid inputs and outputs. For example here the play pause control on deck A is mapped to the control number 36. This is this button on my control surface. If I hit this button it should start the track on deck A but as you can see it doesn't start. Why is that so? In Tractor you can have conditional mappings. So here my cue is the modifier, when I press this button it sets the modifier to 1 and then I can hit play and deck A plays. Without this I can only cue what I'm getting back into my headphone to pre-listen what I'm mixing. This is the most advanced mapping I use here on my control surface. So here if I'm cueing or playing a track, you can see that this LED will blink as this channel peaks. I don't have here centered and potentiometers, so I made a visual feedback to help me center my parameter controls. You can see that when I hit the center of a parameter, it's brighter. Then here I have my cue. Play the fader on deck A, fader on deck B. This is my one knob theater. Here I have a headphone and a Q output mixer, whether I want to listen to the Q or to the main mix. Here I have a four band EQ. Effects. I can bruise here, really soon.
Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please let me know and leave a like, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.